Okay, last ones for this week at least are uh, this set, um, these two matching, uh, matching in size at least, uh, pieces. So I looked at a lot of different matte colors on these and um, white felt dull. I just, I wanted something um, that works for both of them as well. And the blues and grays um, I was drawn to, but um, if I got too blue or too gray, um, this started to just blend with it and kind of mush together and I didn't like that. So I came up with these two. Um, this is a very kind of uh, subtle, foggy, kind of soft blue. Um, not quite baby blue. If you see it next to this one, it's it's not super bright, overwhelmingly blue or anything, um, which is why I like it. And uh, same thing with this very light medium gray. There's enough contrast that um, you can really jump between the two very easily. And it worked for both pieces. So um, yeah, let me know what you think about either the, the medium blues or grays here. Um, but I think either one of them works. So um, I'm gonna start off with a black frame. This is, um, it seems basic from a distance, but um, it's very high quality. This uh, smooth finish and the grain on it. I'm gonna try and zoom in there. That grain is just very subtly rippling in there. Um, but otherwise it's, it's very muted and unassuming. Classy, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so rippled grain on the black and uh, let's see here, one and a half inch margins. Nothing too huge, kind of keeping them down and modest in there float margins around one and a half one and a half um this frame also has quite a bit of height so i've got room for some really decent sized spacers to let this undulating paper lay as it will um you won't have this gigantic curl that'll be reined in a little bit but um, otherwise the paper will have plenty of room to breathe inside such a deep frame um this one subtle black Green frame 228. That's including spacers, one and a half inch margins, and the UV 70 non glare glass. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, next one up is one that I showed you on another piece. This is the gray with the silver uh, splotchy details in there, that silver accent. Ooh, man, it really catches the light. I've got new lights in here, so I'm like having fun seeing stuff with them. Um, so the gray with silver accent, 282. Skin, one and a half inch margins. Um, there's not as much room for big spacers in there. So, um, you know, obviously the paper's not gonna be smushed or anything. There will be spacers in there, um, but it will have less room to, to, to shape around in there. <coughs> um, okay, 282 for that one. I don't know. And uh, last but not least, these I was actually thinking I might show you for the, your big suckers as well. So um, these are natural wood shadow boxes. Um, I've got a dark wood and a medium. This kind of looks like teak. Um, it really depends on if your furniture clashes with these, if you like these woods or not. But um, again, plenty of room for gigantic spacers in there. And um, if I were to go with these gigantic uh, shadow box deep ones, I would actually elevate this float mount to have some space behind it. So I'd put some foam core behind there and lift it up, which, oh man, that, that would look super cool. <laughs> um, 282, so these guys, same price. So if you wanted to go with the short gray one or the tall shadow boxes, same price. Um, with these, you get the height and the ability to, to give it some, some plateauing, some lifting. Um, I would love to do that. I think I would look cool. Um, so yeah, 282. And um, I might even get creative with the spacers as well. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. Well, let me know what you think and we'll go from there.